Hey, it's Tim with ATS, and today we're talking about commercial handled waste valves. Hey everybody, today we are comparing commercial drains. Now these drains have many names. Uh, we have twist drains, we have lever drains, waste valves. Rotary drains, dump drains, twist handle drains. Uh, Kyle drain, standard Kyle drain, trip drain, stick handle drain thingy. Is that actually a name you heard or do you just want to be in the video? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so out of all these drains, I'm going to compare these two of the most common ones that we carry. Uh, the first one being the Component Hardware 7100 twist handle drain. Uh, this could also come in a straight handle. Uh, but we're going to talk about why we like the twist handle better. Uh, and then the Fisher ball valve drain, a very cool, heavy-duty ball valve drain. Uh, first, we're going to talk about some of the similarities, and then we'll talk about some of the differences. Enjoy. So commercial drains exist for one really important reason. You have to be able to get the water out of a three-compartment sink or any compartment sink without putting your actual physical hand into the sink to let the water out. So if you have a sink with a stopper, you could potentially have a knife or something dangerous in that sink. And what these drains provide is a way to let the water out of the sink or close the sink without actually having to put your hand into the sink. That's why these exist. Okay, as far as similarities go, let's first talk about how both drains are available with either three and a half inch tops or three inch tops. That accommodates uh, either much older sinks that have the old three inch holes or your standard basket strainer size of a three and a half inch. Most three compartment sinks have the three and a half inch. Most current sinks in general have a three and a half inch hole punched for these drains. The other similarity between these two style drains is that they both have two inch outlets or internal threading of inch and a half. And that's both drains. Both drains also feature handles that come out from the sink, from the center of the sink, so that you can twist and turn to either open or close the drain. Both drains also feature these removable stainless steel strainers. Because both drains also feature the strainers, that means both drains also take these universal drain locks. These drain locks fit within the flange. and allow you to run a security screw through the center of the strainer to the lock bar, both available with a Phillips screw and a hex screw that when tightened prevent you from removing the strainer. Both drains install the same way. First you start by popping off the top strainer. This exposes the flange so you can see what you're working with. Go ahead and undo that flange. Now the flange itself is going to get either a plumber's putty or a silicone underneath the actual flange itself and that's what's going to make the watertight seal. Underneath though, the drain itself has a paper gasket and a rubber gasket. The paper gasket sits underneath the rubber gasket to prevent that gasket from spreading out. Now here's where it gets a little precarious. Balancing the drain under the sink that has the female threads, you reach for your top flange. Now your top flange has two notches on top. Hand tighten to get it in place. Once you get a couple of good threads set in place, grab your drain tool, get it into the drain flange in the cutout notches. And tighten in place. Now, if you use plumber's putty, you're pretty much set to use the drain right away. 
If you use silicone for your install, which is a better seal, you want to give it some dry time of at least a couple of hours to even overnight if you can. Now here's where we're going to start seeing some of the differences. On these twist handle drains, the biggest difference between this and the ball valve drain is basic operation. Now on these twist handle drains, the way it works is you have a handle assembly that goes into the poppet. As the poppet has the handle running through it, as the handle turns, it either drives the poppet up or pulls it down to lock in place. This poppet right here with its rubber o-ring is what makes the seal. It's the actual thing that goes up and down the drain to either have the water shut off or open up and let the water flow out. Your standard lever drains also have a myriad of parts that are available. You have your straight handles, your standard twist turn handles, you have flange gaskets, you have the poppet o-rings, you can just purchase the poppets themselves, strainers, all your gaskets for your handles themselves, whether it's the C-clips, the O-rings, a lot of available parts. The downside to it, because it closes with friction, you're gonna to need to have those parts available. Okay, with the standard 7100 twist drain, there's two different handle options. There's the actual twist turn handle, which as you turn it, it actually turns the twist to lock in place. And you actually hear a satisfying click sound as it locks. These handles also feature a straight handle, which go up and down. We don't prefer them as much because there's one distinctive thing that, actually a couple distinctive things that make these drain handles kind of a bad choice. The first of all being this. The up-down handle, as you open and close it, needs a lot more force. You can see the sink itself almost kind of warp as you need to exert a lot of force to open and close it to make that seal. Second of all, you're giving people the opportunity to use anything but their hands to open and close the drains. The Fisher ball valve drain operates completely differently than the actual twist turn or lever drain assembly. Instead of having a poppet assembly that goes back and forth, this drain features an actual ball valve. So what happens is the handle that just sits between this stem assembly right here, actuates this ball valve to move back and forth to either open or close it. The only thing that makes the seal on these drains are two Teflon washers above and below that ball valve. So as far as parts are concerned, on the Fisher ball valve drain, the only replaceable part is really these Teflon washers. It's the only thing that go bad. That makes this ball valve drain almost like the five-year drain. They typically don't have any problems. Now when it comes to both drain assemblies, you can't go wrong with either one. The twist turn or lever style drain is very economical. It's a lot cheaper than the ball valve drain from Fisher, almost half the cost, but very repairable at the same time. So if you're looking for an economical drain that's actually going to work and just do what it needs you to do, the twist turn drain is the way to go. If you want long term operation, Fisher ball valve drain all the way. Thanks for checking out our video on commercial drains. If you have any commercial drain needs or if you need your food grade silicone to make your seals or any of your tools or parts like your drain tools or any of your gaskets or assemblies, visit us at atssupply.com. Easy to navigate, easy to find what you need, navigate to the drain and accessory section and you can find any of these drains or any of these parts. As always, thanks for checking out our video on ATS TV. Please give us a like if you like the video. Please subscribe. We'll see you next time.